Rabbi Shimon Jacobson, in his series called Tanya Applied, says that water is like touching the essence. It's connected. It's the calmness, the love, even of pleasure. It's soft. It's about enjoyment and resolution. Like Things inside the water can dissolve, but it's about resolution. It's about when you gain what you're looking for, for and it's far more internalized than and, and, and transformative than fire, which is from a distance. At first, it's just popping and crackling, and it has a heightened seeking, pining, yearning. It's loud. It comes to a quiet, silent burn from its jumping and flickering. It abs it's absorbed by and becomes deeply consumed. We think of pleasurable love. Um, it's like gooey, soft, and mushy, and versus the alienic, alienic kind of entity is like fire needs something corporeal to grab and hold on to, where fire represents an else. Um, and then I wanted to share basically um, some lessons from Torah. This is from the Stone Chumash, chapter 26, verse 5 of Parshas Toldos, which is from Bereshus Genesis. Rav Hirsch derives the word Torah from hara to conceive. Just as an embryo grows from a seed that is implanted at conception, so too God's teachings plant a seed, so to speak, which develops in the recipient to an ever greater consciousness of good. Similarly, Torah comments that the oral Torah is the subject of the term in the second of the Torah blessings. Chai olam nata v'sechenu. God's implanted eternal life. God has implanted eternal life within us because the oral law is like a sapling that is planted and then grows to produce its own fruit. The Labab Tereva's teachings from, a, it's from Y.M. Kagan. I forget what his name stands for, Y.M. Um, this is a thought for the week. It's page 22. 23 and 24, he says, not a, not one Jew is satisfied, sorry, not one Jew is insignificant, not one single member of the people Israel can be dispensed with or despaired of. Our nation is whole and divisible. Loss of one member impairs the entire people. A simple, humble maidservant in the low, low, quote unquote, lowly tribe of Dan, because they were the last tribe, they were someone who thought of as lowly, had to be present at Sinai. Without her, Israel's incomplete. And neither Moshe himself nor Aaron the coin, Gadol, the high priest, nor the heads or the leaders of the tribes could receive the Torah yet. When the Torah was given, each man and woman absorbed in their particular level, with sharp differences between. <laughs> Excuse me, from your hearts, right? Your leaders. From your heads, sorry, and your leaders. And your hammers of wood, your drawers of water. Your hewers of wood, your drawers of water. It's just saying that each person has their own level. More than the donor accomplishes with... And this is a few more things from Y.M. Kagan. These are based on the teachings of the, altar, of the Lubavitcher Rebbe. More than the donor accomplishes with the poor man, does the poor man accomplish with the donor. In other words, the poor man does more for the one who gives money than the one who gives money does for the poor man. The leaders of Israel fulfill their purpose and earn their reward, not through seclusion in an ivory tower, but by devoting themselves to all Israel, not just to the specially gifted, but also to the drawer of water, the ewer of wood. Um, when a Kohen a priest entered the area of the Beis Mikdash where non -Kohen, a non-priest cannot enter, he must pray on behalf of all Israel. This communal prayer is the mission of the high priest who enters the Holy of Holies on Yom Kippur, the 10th day of after the new Jewish New Year, the Day of Atonement. And the incense that he burns in that Holy of Holies must be presented as a communal offering. If he offers it as his individual offering, it is invalid. The Torah speaks of three dimensions, time, place, and person. Adam, Olam, and Shana. The locality imbued with the greatest degree of sanctity upon this entire earth is the Holy of Holies. The time imbued with the greatest holiness is Yom Kippur. The, uh, the day I just mentioned. The most sanctified human being was the high priest, the Kongado. Um, and yet everyone had to be part of it. Every person had a part of the incense that Aaron, the high priest, Kongado, brought into the sacred place at a sacred time. Everyone from the farthest and the lowest you know, participation was needed from every individual. Like a Torah with every single letter m mattering for its sanctity and wholeness. Not one Jew or one letter can be give given up.
now I'm going to share from um, from two prophets, Zechariah and Malachi. So I will share from Malachi first. And let's see, when is this from? I'm sorry, I'm going to share from Zechariah first. 8.15, chapter 8, verse 15. So have I turned about and do purpose in these days to do good to Yerushalayim and to the house of Yehuda. Fear not. These are the things that you shall do. Speak every man the truth to his neighbor. Execute the judgment of truth and peace in your gates. And let none of you devise evil in your hearts against his neighbor. And love no false oath, for all these are things I hate, says the Lord. And the word of the Lord of hosts came to me thus, saying came to me saying thus says the lord of hosts the fast of the fourth month the fast of the tenth shall become times of gladness and joy cheerful feasts to the house of yehuda therefore love the truth and peace in chapter 9 verse 9 it says rejoice greatly o daughter of zion shout o daughter of yerushalayim oh behold the ki thy king comes to thee he's just and victorious and humble riding on an ass upon a colt the foal of an ass and i will cut off the chariot from ephraim and the horse from yerushalayim and the battle shall be cut off and he shall speak peace to the nations and his dominion shall be from sea to sea, from the river to the ends of the earth, as far as for thee also, because of the blood of thy covenant, I have sent forth the prisons, prisoners out of the pit in which there was no water. Return to the stronghold, you prisoners of hope. Even today I will restore to thee a double promise, for I have bent Yehuda for me. I have filled the bow with Ephraim and raised up my sons of Zion against their sons, O Yavon. Yavon, and made there as a, Yavon um, is a Greek. And made their, and made thee as a sword of a mighty man, and the Lord shall be seen over them. His and his arrow shall go forth like the lightning, and the like the lightning. And the Lord God shall blow the shofar, and like the special trumpet, and shall move in the storm winds of the south. The Lord of hosts shall defend them, and they shall devour and subdue with sling stones, and they shall drink and be boisterous as though, as through wine, and they shall be filled like bowls, and like corners and like the corners of the altar. And the Lord, their God, shall save them. On that day as the flock of his people, for they shall be like the story stones of a crown gleaming over his land. For how goodly they are and how beautiful. Corn shall make young men flourish and new wine and virgins, the virgins. Ask rain of the Lord in the time of the latter, of the latter rain of the Lord, who makes lightnings and will give them showers of rain to everyone grass in the field. For the teraphim have spoken vanity and the diviners have seen a lie. And the dreams of falsehood, they comfort in vain. Therefore they went their way as a flock. They were afflicted because there was no shepherd. And now Malachi, chapter 2, verse 13. And this is the thing you do. You cover the altar of the Lord with tears, with weeping and with sighing, because he will not regard the offering anymore or receive it with good will at your hand. And you say, why is this? Is it because the Lord has been witness between thee and, thy wife of, and the wife of thy youth against whom thou hast dealt treacherously? Yet she is thy companion and the wife of... thy covenant and has he not ordained one flesh so that one should have spiritual kin and what does that one flesh seek a godly seed therefore take heed to your spirit and let none deal treacherously against the wife of his youth for to put away is hateful says the lord the god of israel and violence will cover his garments says the lord of hosts therefore take heed to your spirit that you do not deal treacherously malachi chapter 3 verse 20 but to you who fear my name, the son of the righteousness shall arise with healing in its wings, and you shall go out and leap like calves from the, from the stall, and you shall tread down the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet on the day that I do this, says the Lord of hosts. And finally, Malachi 3, chapter 3, verse 18. Then you, you shall return and see the difference between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serves God and him that does not serve him. And um, this video is on behalf of Friday. I did not record a video. I was busy with cleaning and cooking and other things, preparing for the Sabbath. Be well. Bye.